Um, today, I'm actually going to be do, doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing the studio thing. I know in the description it said I was probably going to master a song. That was a lie. So instead, uh, I'm going to be interviewing my dear friend, Greg Fender, and he's in an awesome band called The Eon Collapse, which I'm going to jump into right now. I want to give you guys a preview of uh, the song. It just dropped about, oh, actually, it's been out for almost a month, but it's still amazing, and you guys got to check this out. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to play uh, a segment of the song, and we're going to talk about how Greg uh, writes music, what his musical process is, dig into what he's up to now, and uh, we'll see where the conversation goes. So uh, here we go. We're going to play uh, Harvest by the Eon Collapse. It's so good. Great. Here we go with with uh, Rick Astley. So with that, that song is amazing. Again, that's called Harvest by Eon Collapse. And I'm actually going to bring Greg on the show. So without further ado, what's up, Greg? Welcome. What's up? Dude, it's so, it, it's so awesome to have you here, man. Um, Thanks for so, having me. Man. Yeah, dude. So everybody, this is uh, Greg Fender. I mentioned... Uh, he is the Eon Collapse. Is that correct? I think that's that's accurate to yeah. say. Yeah. It's yeah. E- so eons, oh, eons. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you're the one. You're the one person. And well, thanks a lot, uh, Johnny Dove, for sharing Johnny. the stream. Appreciate that, homie. Um. So yeah. Um. Greg, I, I mentioned to Greg that what we do on this stream is we always have a beer. So, uh. Greg is uh, prepared so graciously to share a beer with me. Um, I can't see. There you go. You got to cover your face with it. Yeah, yeah. Voodoo Ranger, dude. That's money. Yeah, I've never, I've never tried it until right Um, about now. So I got to do the beer cam, dog. Like that. There's only one way to do this. So again, we got the DC Brow represent Arcade Series Two. It's a farmhouse style IPA. Pretty pretty wild, actually. Um, we'll see. What, what Again, you got to support the local farm? breweries, man. What's your... <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. I guess we're here. I'm over here. Cheers, man. Cheers. All right. So I, I got to say, um, we should probably talk about how we met. Like, because that's not a... Not necessarily oh, like yeah. a normal situation. <laughs> um, if I recall... If I recall um, I, the first day I met you, I think I crashed on your floor, right? Yeah. That night? Well, I mean, yeah. It was a hotel room floor. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, oh, I, this is starting to sound weird, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. Hi. Nice meeting you. You want to come yeah. crash on my hotel floor? <laughs> so uh, Greg and I attended a, a music summit um, and we, yeah, we just talked. We were part of a, a Facebook community. And we all went to the same summit together, and and, um, and basically we all met up at the airport. There was like five of us, 
Uh, I think there was an Australian with us too, if I recall. Yep. Um, and uh, we all yeah. went to this this uh, this conference. And m- me being the idiot that I am, I didn't. I forgot to book a hotel room the first night for whatever reason. Like it wasn't included. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure Greg and Josh. Um, Josh Holland, I think you guys let me, yeah, crash on your, your, uh, hotel room floor. And I, I took apart like a, a chair, like an armchair, and then just made, a like a few, <laughs> like a little makeshift bed, like on the side. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, just curled up into a little tiny ball and, and, uh, yeah, just, that was cool. Yeah. It was fun, man. A, didn't we have like a, a 12 pack of warm beer that like we had for pretty much that whole <laughs> Like weekend, yeah. <laughs> we were like trying to get through it. Yeah, it. Yeah, it was good times, man. So, so yeah, I met I met Greg then, and uh, yeah, he's just been he's been crushing it, man. So, you're currently living in Michigan now, uh, mm-hmm. from what I understand. So, how's that treating you? How's the weather? You you you're not normally from Michigan. Right? No, I <clears throat> I was born and raised in California, uh, and I lived in uh, like on the Oregon coast for about ten years, and. Uh, Moved here about a year ago, um, right in time for winter. So I kind of hunkered down and then <laughs> um, Corona hit. So I didn't get to like unhunker. So yeah, I've been, you know, pretty much in here, like for in this room a lot. So uh, yeah. So then, a year. <laughs> and then, um, and then before that, you were in California, right? Yeah. You were nor- Oregon, Northern, but, right? Northern California? Northern California. Yeah. Like right in the basically the armpit of California, Modesto. Shout out. I mean, yeah knows. represent yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> like, oh yeah yeah i know that place mm-hmm. but yeah fun fun times so when uh, did uh the eons collapse start like um, you you've been at this for a while but there's been like a long hiatus if i yeah well so it's was like uh kind of I've, I've always been in band different bands you know like back you know going back to my california days and uh like the the ounce collapse was kind of a like this is gonna be my solo project slash side project thing so like you know less serious but like i still want to do my own sort of thing and i think i started that in like 2008 and then uh but myspace days homie yeah (laughs) it was on myspace i should uh, go dig those up man i was on myspace i had a like a extreme death brutal band like back back in the day like okay, the whole yeah. point was to be as over the top as possible. Um, yeah, that's when all that stuff was kind of popping. And yeah, we had uh, we had fa- it was it was wild. MySpace days were. I mean, that's why I learned how to like pro like co- everybody. That's everybody had to learn how to like write HTML code because you want to make your MySpace look cool. You know. <laughs> it's yeah. Like, yeah, they had this special like you know do this to your page and it'll look cool. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want one of those like boring ones. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. So. I just have to point this out. We got a bunch of people. Um, oh, so Joel Finley says, uh, oh, see, you know what, guys? I'm totally doing you an injustice. Let me bring the chat in. I'm so sorry about that. Here. Now we can see what everybody's talking. Sorry uh, about that. So, yeah, so Joel cool. Finley says, uh, I want to try that beer just based off the can. I hope you're talking about the arcade series because uh, DC Brow is the bomb. And yeah. I uh, try that beer too. yeah. What's up, Tony? Thanks for tuning in. Anthony wants to know where in Michigan that you, uh, you're in temperance, at. It's like a little small town, like just north of Toledo, Ohio. Like the the border to Ohio is like, like right over there. Wow. So like just outside of Ohio, basically. Anthony was so Anthony used to live in Michigan. Um, I knew Anthony growing up. We used to like skateboard together. We played in bands together. Um, right yeah, on. he's been. He's even he's. he's lived in all sorts of different places um and then uh oh mommy b says good choice of beer greg i'm drinking voodoo ranger juicy haze i told you dude like you got to get on that yeah. juicy haze train though i think you're drinking something yeah. different yeah this is american haze it's good i dig it. <laughs> I, I was like totally living in oregon i was like totally you know an ipa fucking snob for a while I actually worked at a brewery at rogue i don't know if you know no guy. way really yeah, you worked at Rogue? A, yeah, of course I know Rogue. Yeah. I cleaned their fucking fermenters and stuff for uh, <laughs> almost two years or something. Well, it's know. good that they clean those. 
I mean, <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean the inside. Oh, I shouldn't say anything. Yeah. I don't, I don't <laughs> what do you pressure wash them? Like what? What do you do? Uh, like, it's, it's chemicals and you know a bunch of like caustic hmm. shit. Oh, that's but we good. With, with with some other stuff before the, the beer. There's some ma- so. some magic. So, but but okay. Yeah. Here's the question that everybody's wondering: Would you still drink their beer? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Especially All right. yellow yellow snow. I well no, I think they changed that. Uh, I don't think yellow snow is that great anymore. I think they like changed something around. But that used to be my favorite. Uh, yeah. Brutal bitter. That's another good one. If they're still making that one. I'll have to check those uh, out. Yeah, I was a huge fan of, of Rogue back, like, uh, when I was in Indiana, we would, we would just drink that stuff all the time. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that, Dead Guy's like, a, like I want to get drunk right now. That's, well, that, yeah, that's exactly know. what we would drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense, really doesn't well. it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My, my dad actually almost fell in a bonfire. <laughs> while tra- <laughs> that's like, that's like his Dead Guy story. Yeah, is he? Uh, is your dad from the Midwest? Because that sounds. I think. I think there's at least three people in this chat where that's probably almost happened to, or absolutely happened to. He's uh, he's actually like a Southern California surfer guy. Okay. But he, he did. It's funny. He actually lived like in this area, like for like I don't know a year or so, maybe two years in high school, like a sophomore year, and then moved back to California because he couldn't. Yeah. Handle it. Or, we couldn't handle it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's cool, dude. That's awesome, dude. Um so okay, so yeah, so we met at this summit and you made Eon's collapse like twelve years ago. You've had what you had your initial release that made its MySpace debut in two thousand eight and then it got resurrected recently. Is that how this uh, wait what's yeah, what made okay. you decide to to get this thing moving again? Have you been sitting well, on these for a long time or <laughs> Well, it's funny because, like, in a way, I wasn't, like, totally going to, like, revive it or anything. It was just more like, man, I need to put music out because I've, you know, I'm sure a lot of people in the chat can um, relate to, like, probably being overly, you know, perfectionist about things and just Mm. not releasing stuff. So, like, most of my musical output is, like, on hard drive somewhere that don't work anymore, basically, because I just never would put it out. And, like, and I'd be in band, so, like, that would be my main focus is, like, you know, pre-pro we're you know then we're hitting the studio then we're doing stuff and then we're touring and shit and it's like man i just want to have like my own thing and that's what the eons collapse was supposed to be and then uh like moving here i just wanted to like do that again and then i was like trying to think all these names or whatever it's like i'm just gonna use that name again (laughs) why the fuck not yeah exactly no that's that's awesome and like it's nice i know i'm kind of i'm starting to revisit all this too it's like just being creative in a studio environment again it like it's 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 like a necessity for me to like be creative in some capacity. I mean, that's why I did the mixing stuff so much, and that's why I've been doing a lot of vocal production for people and and helping with songwriting and critiques and all this stuff. And um, yes, yeah, now now I'm starting to like think like you know what? I need I need I need to write my own stuff again. Like I'm kind of yeah, there's a piece that's missing. So yeah, we should we should do like a some sort of I I know collab. I think we should. Cool. So. I also want to point this out. So, by the way, I'm gonna I'm bringing this video back. Okay. So, what I didn't mention is that Greg also just got into like all this video editing stuff, and I absolutely love like the visuals on this. Like, and and just so like, I don't. Can you can you talk a little bit about like the process of that? Like, what uh, what was the motive? Like, you said, what made you want to go and start making videos? Like, is this just another creative thing that you're doing? I mean, doing if just I had to... enough, if I had enough, like, lifetime or whatever, like, I also <laughs> want to make, like, big blockbuster movies and, you know, basically anything that I can. But, you know, I got to start small. So uh, I think ever since I was a kid, you know, like, I wanted to do, like, all of this stuff. I wanted to make music videos and just, like, any sort of cool creative stuff. You know, music's, like, my main thing. but I always wanted yeah. to get into like visual stuff. And then uh, I finally, like now I have a computer that can handle video. So like, all right, <laughs> that, cool, that was, that was stuff, what you know? kept you doing it the whole time. It's like, man, my computer yeah, I sucks, it. man. <laughs> I was always such a cheap bastard about yeah. computers. It's like, okay, what will run audio? Okay. I can, you know, put these things together Gateway. for 500 bucks and I've got a computer. Cool. <laughs> and then, 2008, you, know, you were either Dell or Gateway back then probably. <laughs> Shit, I don't even. Yeah. 
I don't even know if it's I want that. Like, Do, is Gateway I still a company? Does anybody in the chat know? Is Gateway still around? Uh, let me know. I, I, I haven't heard anything. Like, when I stopped getting those CDs in the mail with AOL version 6.0, like, that's when I stopped hearing about Gateway, you know? <laughs> Wait, they, wait, when you got a computer from them, didn't they come in like a, a cow-colored box? I think they did Is have it, that. I've never actually had a gateway, but I think I remember that. Like, yeah. We, we <laughs> sold, like Comp USA probably had them. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Office Max. Dude, we're getting, I can, we can't be talking about this stuff. We're getting, like, it's dating us, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> talk about MySpace. People haven't hey, even heard of you this wanna, You want to, you want to, for, for uh, dating, like, I played guitar. Like a bunch the past couple days, and my now my wrist like makes these weird like creaky noises. <laughs> so like now it's like oh I guess I have to stretch before I play my guitar. So don't get old. You, you already have carpal. You got carpal tunnel for playing 20, 20 seconds of riffs. <laughs> oh, I mean it was most of the day, but it was still you know. Yeah. I think it's probably because I like I'll go like super long stretches without playing guitar at all, and then just like yeah. you know. It comes back quickly though. I've noticed. Like, I definitely am not yeah. as uh, technical. Like, I'm a little bit sloppy, but, like, most of it's still there. So that that makes yeah. that reassured me a little bit that maybe it's okay. I can start getting back into this thing. Yeah, yeah. like, the muscle memory <laughs> comes back, but then it's like the muscles aren't, you know, they're just like, hey, fucking stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, just keep going. So, okay, so I want to talk about some more things about your music because I'm in the market for a new guitar. So... It sounds super down tuned. Are you on a seven string? Are you sticking with a six string? Uh, what is, what like what is this? I have uh, it's most of the stuff's on a seven. Um, I have this strictly. I'll grab it real quick. I just got to go to the back of the room real quick. Meanwhile, in Bobby right, Land, we're gonna be drinking. We're beer camming. He doesn't even know I cut him out. No, I know because I can see you. Oh shit! <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> This is my um my main my main guy. I just, I can't no, that's right. There you go. You had it. You just gotta cover your face. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So this is like my main my main guy. Uh, made in Ohio, actually. H handmade. Really? Well. <laughs> Hand handmade. Assembled, I guess they still they still. I mean they use CNC machines, but um yeah, yeah. That's my favorite guitar and then uh for some of the lower that's in um i'll, I'll use like you know drop g it's always drop tunings because i suck <laughs> the lower it goes the more it makes up for your bad guitar playing is that how it works <laughs> yeah. yeah and then this is my my newest guy this is uh the ola england uh solar i think that's how he says it solar um how many knobs is on that is that eight, eight. yeah this is an, you this an is eight an string eight. guitar yeah, why not? Back in my day, no. back in my day, we didn't have more than six. We only, we we had only to put a bass string strings. on that E. Like, it's wild. Like, eight? I don't even know. Like, does it feel like normal? I mean, I've been playing, you know, seven strings for so long that it's just like, oh, it's just a little bit bigger. Oh, and okay. like, the thing, it's actually funny. Like, the main reason I got that is so I could play like low stuff, but then I also have a standard tuned guitar. And so that's been really cool. It's just yeah. like I have a six string and then plus the other stuff rather than, you know, you know, changing tunings or switching guitars or whatever. That's awesome. Like yeah, I need to muting it. I need to just bite the bowl and get a seven string, man. I just never had one. I'm not that brutal anymore, man. But I kind of want to go back to into those that place. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, OK, so there's all these cool things like you have the these like chuggy parts and then you have. Is it just string noise? Like I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this video again because I'm just so in love with this song. But yeah. Like it's like a raking sound. Like is that just you just putting your oh. fingers over the strings and just Yeah, I think that's like my shitty um Morbid Angel <laughs> slash Gojira um <laughs> pick rake scrape attempt thing. But I don't think I'm doing it the same way as they are because I looked it up and I just can't make it. I don't remember. I actually can't remember how I did that. Yeah. Technically, I'm sorry, but uh, it's it's all. I, I just I've heard it. Like I yet. hear it in in like a lot of like more modern music, and I've never noticed it that much before. And yeah, I was just I was always curious, like what exactly it, it sounds like. Yeah, it's I, just fingers muting the I, strings, and it's in a certain I, spot where it's like. I think I'm kind of doing this sort of thing. Like, um, you probably can't see through the shitty camera but like i think i'm just kind of um 
like and i also have this fucking bandage on but like I'm just, like, <laughs> it, like as i'm still kind of oh it's like way okay so it's i got you yeah so i'm not really doing much with this hand it's just i mean i might be like muting the strings like okay it just it, it's a cool like texture that i've noticed a lot of people doing and uh i just never was like i never really knew what what it was so are you using real amps what like what's so if, if someone were to go to you to record if you even do that right are you are you recording uh, people I, I used to but then i mean kind of my plan this thing is kind of like throwing a people. wrench in everyone's gear right yeah and then COVID happened so like i'm trying to just do like only remote stuff if i can um also i'm in like a really tiny room and like i don't really want to like you know lease a, a commercial spot really because that's why i went for... online man i it yeah, just didn't like, make sense yeah, that way i can stick the passion can stay. stay i don't have to feel obligated to you know like it's like oh what yeah. am I gonna, like i got this rent to pay like i don't i don't want to have that stress i want to just make music so oh thank you for the uh the like appreciate that <laughs> so um so what's the what so are you are you using real amps? Like, what? What's the what's the setup for getting? Because the, the guitar uh, tones is sick, dude. I'm usually using a uh, Kemper, um, like to track with, and then sometimes I'll use Tone Hub, um, the STL Tone Hub, uh, because that's just my favorite amp sim. I'm not like super big on amp sims usually. Um, some of the neural stuff's pretty cool, but uh, you know, like I'll hear people talk about certain amp sims, like, oh, I love this one or whatever, and I'll try it. I'm just like, ah, it sounds like an amp sim. And then, yeah, <laughs> like some, for some music that sounds awesome. Like like it needs to be an amp sim or whatever, but yeah, uh, that's just not like uh, my cup of tea or whatever. And I mean, the Kemper is an amp sim. You know, I, I get that, but uh, like it doesn't sound so much like one. And then that kind of the uh, the tone hub kind of has that same vibe, like where it still feels like an amp to me. Like like physically, like you know, as a guitar player, yeah, 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 yeah. Strings just feel right. You know. Right. Yeah. It's one I mean, of these things like a real amp, but it's yeah. It's it it's one of these things where like you can like it's a responsiveness. Cause I you know, I grew up playing real amps like that's all I knew, right? And then you start getting into amp sims and like you lose there's a, a sense of responsiveness that you're missing from the amp sim and it's like some of them capture it and some of them don't. And and mm -hmm. like I'm totally with you on that. It's 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 a feel thing and it you know, some people don't Sometimes it sounds awesome and that's that's cool, but yeah. like, but if you're playing to it, like, especially if you're doing live stuff, I could imagine it like really messing with you a little bit, like not mm -hmm. having a ability yeah. to get that kind of feed. Like, it's not, yeah, the feedback from like how hard you hit in a string and all this, it, it just kind of misses misses the mark. Yeah, but and the Kemper is good, like, huh? Because that's I, I the like other thing I've been looking at. Like, <laughs> I, I and I'll say, you know, about Amsims, like other people get they get them to sound fucking awesome, and I'm just like. I mean, like the the plug-in ones. Anyway, um, I just I'm, I don't have a lot of luck with them for whatever reason. But I'm also like super not technical. I, I don't like to, you know, super get in there. I just want it to work. I want it to I want to turn the fucking thing on. I don't want it to sound good. And, what up, uh, David? Remember, thanks for the thanks for the like. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> thanks for the Rick roll. <laughs> I, know. I know it's just like that's really why we're here. That is why we're here. It's sort of hair whips. If Matt yeah. Claire's here. That dude, that dude was a king of hair whips back in the day. I'm just saying. He was a vocalist in my crazy, th like, oh. ultra, ultra brutal band. <laughs> dude, you, you have to, you have to bring that up. You oh, should do like a, um, you know, like a remaster of like some of your, that would be, I would watch the shit out of that. Oh, uh, okay. Video. Okay. You know like what? That. Um, we had, uh, we had Joey Sturgis mix one of the tracks, um, and it was through uh, like a remix thing, um, so like we submitted the track and and it got picked, and it was it was really interesting to watch his reaction to the music because of how in, like ridiculous it was, and uh, just how absurd uh -huh. the lyrics are and just every everything is complete nonsense. But uh, yeah, no, it's funny to see someone else's like reaction, like having to work with what we gave them, and they're just like, "What is this?" Like. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah, I, I could definitely bring that back. So I, I gotta give a shout out to Ryan. Thanks for popping in, homie. And uh, we got David, Dave's in here. We got Johnny. We got all sorts of. Then the whole family's here. 
If um, hell yeah. Let me know I can't when you guys are. Read the, the it's like super pixely on my screen, so I can like see the words, but they're like. Oh uh, well, I suck. You know, I I'm I'm still learning, man. It's yeah, a work in progress. Crazy. We're getting there. No, it's I'm not. Even <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, just so anybody in the chat, I'm not ignoring anybody. I just I don't know if you're you know saying anything to me or not. I don't know. Greg can be a dick sometimes. <laughs> So, okay, I want to ask, um, so this, this to me, this, like, uh, the Eons Collapse kind of has a, ooh, baby, okay. So it has kind of like a um, Meshuggah vibe to it, right? It's very groovy Thanks. sounding, right? Like, um, like, what are some of your influences? Like, th some other ones that come to mind Meshuggah. are, like, Russian Circles, um, like, like some of the songs on the album kind of have an, these arms are snakes vibe. If you've heard of those dudes. Um, and you know, another one is like God is an astronaut. There's a, like a lot of cool, like spacey textury things that I hear in, in your music. So I was just curious, like what, like what, what are, what influences like this kind of music writing? Like, what are you listening to? Uh, I mean, well, like I listen to all kinds of weird stuff now. Like, I guess if I go back to my metal stuff, I mean, Meshuggah is obviously one of them. Um, Cannibal Corpse uh, on the on the heavier side. Um, shit, I mean, just tons of <laughs> um, I putting mean, you lately, on the spot. I'm, I'm making you yeah. making you uh, like, what genre are you? You know, like the like the, the loaded questions oh, yeah. that are. <laughs> no, yeah, I actually I. I got all excited a few weeks ago because like I, I, th I thought I figured out like, Oh, I'm, I'm doing, um, no, I can't remember what it was. Um, industrial. Fuck. I already forgot it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of is like a yeah. post hardcore, like pro like progress something like gent something. I don't know. Yeah. It's... Well, yeah. I mean, the thing is like, I think I was wrong about it, but I was so excited. <laughs> like, Oh, I know what my genre is. I mean, if anybody else can, let me know that'd be cool but i'm, I'm yeah. like not really a genre guy so like I don't know. right I yeah don't know. no i i know it's it always feels weird to like people are like oh what kind of band are you in it's like oh it's like hard rock, rock. <laughs> you know it's like, i don't want to i don't want to talk like sub genres of sub genres and yeah i feel you man um yeah, but yeah no yeah mishuga is probably one of the bigger ones fear factory uh oh cool yeah, Did, so were like, you oh, one of those like nine inch nails people I love Nine Inch Nails. Yeah. Funny thing about them, though, like, I pretty much dislike all of their music when I first hear it, and then the second time I hear that, like, they'll come out with a new album, and it's like, uh, I don't know, and then you hear it the second time, it's like, okay, and then, like, the third time, it's like, I like this. Yeah, so, I, it makes I sense. Yeah. Radiohead yeah, was like kind of like that, like, uh, I'm a big Radiohead fan, and mm -hmm. it's, everybody likes, likes their o okay computers, like the the uh, album everybody wants them to go back to but it's like you know they're progressing as musicians so it's like of course it's not gonna they're never gonna make that kind of music ever again like you know they're different people than when they were when they wrote that album or whatever um and, it, and it's funny because like as it goes farther and farther it gets like more and more abstract and farther from their you know their roots but like initially you're kind of standoffish because you're used to what you pers like what you think they should sound like and then you I don't know it's like yeah once you listen to it once or twice like you start accepting it and then you start understanding like the music like to a greater yeah. level than than when you first heard it you know yeah. like another band that's like that them. oh sorry go ahead yeah. no you can always listen to those albums that you like again you know? <laughs> like, no you gotta be Slayer make the same album again yeah yeah I was gonna say another band that's kind of like that is uh this band called Thrice where yeah. they started and they were like like hardcore punk music you know it was fast and melodic and a bunch of like punk kind of screamy singy yells and stuff and then they've progressed into like almost like radio rock indie thing i don't know but it's yeah. like but i it's one of those things where like i'm absolutely in love with the way that they're transforming as musicians mm -hmm. and like you know their their music is like you know, it's so much more complex than it was before. Before it was just like, yeah, we want sick riffs and we want it fast. And then, you know, yeah. then they started getting, you know, started like writing music that wasn't always fast. And then now they're starting to sing and, and now they're adding keyboards. And like, they, like mm -hmm. each album is like this, this progression. And it's, uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like it, it, uh, there's, there's more to it than just this, like 
the melody now. Like, yeah. it's like what isn't there is like what mm-hmm. gets me excited or like the texture of the of yeah. what they're doing like it's so much more than just the you know just what there is like you know the song that you listen to or the vocals melody or whatever mm-hmm. i don't know it's just one of these things where it's like um yeah like i i know the feeling where it's just like oh like just write an old like i wish you were playing your old stuff and then it's like oh i, I love what you guys are doing actually i just had to stop yeah. being a dick to myself and just accept it. And then, you know, yeah, they, so. they're a band, uh, that like, I never really like, not that I was trying to avoid them. I just like never really heard them. And then like, I heard like one of their more recent things. I'm, I can't remember the name of the song, but like, I super dug it. And it's like, this is thrice. And like, you know, apparently yeah. not, you, you would you know, not like, know if you one, listen yeah. to thrice, like when their first two or three albums yeah. came out and you heard them now, it's like, you would think you're listening to like, I don't know, just like, the yeah. drive fm or i don't know something you know it's like you just have no idea at all um yeah that's crazy yeah so um let's talk more about uh your music so you have harvest that came out and i saw that you just released was it like a week ago you had another song that came out uh it's actually been a couple of weeks I've, I've had other projects going on so like i've you know my my thing is kind of like my free time sort of thing so when i have um other things going on that kind of like takes a back seat but uh yeah like it's it's funny like most of that stuff like basically all of the videos i have on youtube minus one like i did them all basically together and then like and then i do all the videos together and then i just like uploaded them all together and then i just like released them one at a time and yeah the last one i did was like the only one that i did like totally on its own and uh like i think i have like four or five songs that are like basically mixed and ready for video but i just haven't had a chance to um, yeah fuck those. so it, like it's super um like i don't plan very far ahead and like releasing stuff. <laughs> like, oh here's a song i want because i just i want to make the videos and i want to like put them out there and i'm really bad at promoting stuff i just i'm like the the classic uh you know build it and they will come kind oh of yeah yeah I wish, I wish that that worked because i don't <laughs> i don't want to promote anything at all like once so it's will... out there i'm like, cool done next all right yeah, yeah. I want to say Don't though, like if, if there's anybody in the chat that uh, if you guys are if you guys make music and you want like, I I haven't even asked Greg if this is cool, but I'm just gonna say it. But if you guys want like a visual or something, you should hit up Greg. Like, um, yeah, I'm down for for all that stuff. It's cool, man. Like, I don't know. I I really like the style and uh, yeah, like he'll take care of you. He's a good dude. You know, <laughs> I, I do I do have limitations. Like at this point, I'm just using stock video. So like. Um, you know that's like narrows down like the possibilities a little bit you know so if somebody like wants some sp- super specific thing you know like i'm just like that's probably not gonna happen you know? <laughs> if you like if you yeah so if you guys you should check out um greg's band on uh youtube it's the eons collapse i have a um a link to the facebook page in the description um but you should also check out like i said the youtube pages at all the music and is there a plan to do like an album release at some point or get these on Spotify or do like a, like a, like an official yeah. launch? I mean, well, I mean, I can't, I can't say there's a plan, but I mean, there, <laughs> there's a desire. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably have you master that when, you know, whenever That'd I, be psyched, I, don't, I don't like right now, it's just like a bunch of like short instrumental things. So like if I look, if I'm going to put stuff on uh, Spotify, it's got to be a little bit more like complete or whatever and you know maybe i'll yeah. throw these kind of like at the end you know like the shorter stuff um as like a bonus thing but yeah i feel like it's cool man people off yeah i i dig it is there any plan for vocals because i i heard the first Kinda. album right the first album has vocals i heard them yes so <laughs> yeah is- so that's the tricky that's the tricky <laughs> thing about using the name again because like as it's like i just want to make music videos I'm not sure if I want to make, you know, if I want to do vocals, but I want to make, I want to make music and I, I want to make videos for that, for that music. <laughs> and and then, but I'm going to use that name again. And like, I, I went to upload everything. And I was like, Oh, I already have a fucking channel. And I already have videos. <laughs> okay. This is going to be weird, but you know, eventually yeah, I'll, I'll do vocals again. It's just, you know, like right now it's just a matter of like, I want to, get stuff out there because you have to you have to yeah and, and i think my, anybody my... who's a, mus- a musician here can agree that like one of the biggest things that always is a problem is 
You'll you'll get something you always think you can iterate it a little bit better. You know, I can just make it a little bit better. And and what it just it doesn't make it better. It just makes it different. Yeah. And I think yeah, I think we get in this trap of like can't deciding. And it's 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 one of these things where we just need to accept the song as is at that moment and that's like it's representation of us like that's a, that is a time stamp of us as a musician yeah. at that point and yeah it's like a let photograph. it go man yeah. let the baby go you know mm-hmm. just dangle it right outside of that 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 window just yeah let it go. that's right Boop. But Have Michael to. Jackson. you just gotta let it go man like yeah. i can't tell you how many songs i have that are like three quarters complete because i just can't let it go i just like you just keep yeah. trying to do things and you keep going down these weird rabbit holes and nothing gets done and then you don't get better as a musician either because yeah. you're not yeah. and if you're, writing if you're like constantly, it's just yeah and if you're constantly working on the same songs like you're you're not gonna get the benefits of working on multiple songs like you're just gonna get really good at mixing that one song yeah or, exactly or just, just, i mean like everything that i've put out recently like there's a ton of stuff like ah oh, shit I, you know i could have done this better but i also don't really give a <laughs> yeah, we can cuss right yeah because yeah been absolutely cussing, but, yeah yeah so i mean maybe yeah, maybe instead that's... of maybe instead of the beer cam i can have like a cuss cam cuss where cam. then it like zooms in on your face or something yeah like and then uh <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> i'm sure there's a way to automate all this stuff oops sorry about that got a little thing all right i just want to go hop in the chat quickly so it looks like um so ryan had an early meeting or uh his meeting just got over, so he's happy to be here. Greg, you're not selling yourself very well, according to Dave. Uh, Sorry, Dave. Greg Hedler, what's up, man? Good to see you. He says uh, we rule. He's, he's my awesome. doppel, doppelganger. Yeah, you guys kind of do it's look. Not, you yeah. do look similar. Greg's my homie, dude. Greg, Greg, for anybody that doesn't know, he's out of Atlanta, and he is crushing it. So if you guys are doing something heavy, you need to hit him up. Um, man, he's, I don't, I heard some stuff that he just released and I was blown away. Like I, I literally hit him up and I said, Hey, um, can you show me how you did that? Like, is that okay? And he's like, yeah, absolutely. So like he pulled up his session. He's like, let's go through. And he like showed me like his oh, plugins awesome. that he was using and like samples. And yeah, he like totally helped me out. He's an awesome guy. I, I love cool. that dude. Um, Let's see. Ryan said another band that is super different from when they started is Architects. So oh, I'm yeah. Gonna have to... I just heard one of their new songs, and I was like, I had to look, and I was like, oh, shit, this is Architects. See, it I haven't heard good, it yet. You know? I haven't heard it yet. I've been stuck on Bring Me Horizon. See, they just had oh, yeah, that big too, yeah. They just had that big release. So yeah. that's that. that... Yeah, did you, did you hear about the, um, the thing with the Deftones riff? I, I no. I video. I think it's on one of those like really shitty fucking, you know, those like really crappy uh, <laughs> metal metal news things where it's like, you know, Maynard James Keenan farted today, and it's like, <laughs> you know, they make an article about it or something about bringing yeah, the horizon, cause, yeah. uh, ripping off a Deftones riff, and it's like it does sound similar, but like the riff is so simple, it's like, dude, somebody's gonna rip that off at some point. I'm, right. I'm a huge Deftones fan. I should have mentioned that as one of my influences, but uh, like. You know, it's stuff like that's going to happen if you've got like simple riffs, like a lot of my riffs. Yeah, right, exactly. And I, I'm also a huge stuff. Deftones fanatic. Like, like yeah. White Pony is like forever in my heart, heart man. Like, yeah, never going here. anywhere. Like, I I can just pop that in. It's it's like I I don't know. I never grew. I never go tired of it. I don't know. Yeah, they got a, a remix uh, version of that, or might already be out. I know they have one song that was remixed by uh, Purity Ring. I really like hmm. them. That's a not metal band that I'm super yeah. into. Yeah. No, that's I'm awesome. Oh, yeah, David. That's... So Dave, my buddy Dave says uh, it was a total ripoff. I'm gonna have to check it out. Dave, do you know what song by Deftones that they uh, the riff is the same? Uh. But the the thing is, like, it is like the exact same note. So like, <laughs> I mean, I think it is because I watched one video and then I went over and watched the other one. I'm pretty sure it's the same note. So like, that does. Kind of, but I mean, it's like super simple. So, so what I picked up on, which I was contemplating making a video on, is uh, their one by one, the song one by one, sounds very much like Paper Cuts by Linkin Park. 
If you go back to hybrid theory, it was that 2012, something like that. You go way back. It's a, it's a little bit faster, but like the song structure is extremely the same. They just don't have rapping. They have, they have like singing uh -huh. and like the keyboard melody is very eerily similar. It's, oh, it's, so I think like it's in the same key. Parts. Yeah. And it's it, oh. like, I kind of want to, I want to pull them both into a session and like put them the same tempo and then kind of bounce back and forth to see how, how similar they are and how the, the songs mm -hmm. progress. But it's, um, yeah, it's surprisingly, uh, like I heard it like immediately I was like, oh, this is Linkin Park. And it's funny because everybody yeah. says that they're like the new Linkin Park, which they pretty much are. I, I would I would say, um, I don't know if they're gonna sell as much as them because they don't have the rapping. Like the rapping, yeah. you know, you I do mean, these, jo you smash two genres, you're gonna get fan, you pull fans from both sides. Yeah. So sure. yeah, the the kind of pigeonhole. So so bring the horizon if you're listening to my live stream on Facebook <laughs> right now. Yeah, you you guys got to get a rapper featured on your next album. Or you're not gonna you're not gonna go platinum, homie. Oh, okay, they probably will. You're not gonna go double platinum, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you might get that platinum, but you're not gonna get the double ain't platinum. Ain't shit. Mm -mm. I need an epic beer can if we're both gonna drink at the same time. Like you beer gotta can. warn me about that. <laughs> so I don't know. I I just totally got lost. Um. Okay. So David Andres, he let put a link to YouTube. I'm about to check that out. Oh, it's a song that they did with Evanescence. Or no, they did it with... Oh, so they ripped off an Evanescence riff too? That's interesting. Oh, I read that. I read about that too. That was actually <laughs> just earlier, I think. I was uh, taking a, a poo and reading about that. So let um, me tell you one... Okay, so here's the thing. This is not, this, it's not about poo, but this is about um, like uh, music copyright. So this one person is so fed up with the copyright infringement that's going on with all these pop artists saying, oh, you're ripping off a song from the 60s and 70s, like all this stuff that's happening, that this guy is literally programming, uh, he's, he's programming like these neural networks and there's like giant machine learning algorithms to write every single possible song and melody and release it to the um, public domain. And mm. it's his hope that if every note is out there, there can no longer be this copyright infringement. Because clearly, you know, in the moment, the bands are not ripping people off. You know, they're writing music, yeah. and it's just, it happens to sound similar. Yeah, like, whatever, they're inspired, yeah. like, that's what they felt the moment, whatever. Like, that, this, this stuff mm -hmm. happens, right? You know, I mean, if people are sampling things, it's one thing. But, like, if, you know, if this is, like, an organic thing, which I'm sure... This is. I'm. Sure, I don't think the bands get together and say, "Okay, man, let's rip off a Deftones riff, an Evanescence riff, and a Linkin Park song, <laughs> and we're gonna have a platinum record." Like that. That doesn't happen, right? That's like. Yeah. It's one of these things. Yeah. So this. Yeah. This guy. I forgot what it's called. Um. There's a TED talk on it. So if you guys search like, like, every song ever written TED talk or something, you could probably find it. It's interesting. Yeah. You should. You should check it out. So I encourage you guys to do that. If you want to be a nerd about music like me, um, yeah. So, so Greg, I have a question: Is there ever a chance the Eons Collapse would do a tour, and what does that look man. like? <laughs> uh, man, that'd be so fucking awesome if I could hire people to to just be the band. I like... I will tell you that this stuff happens, and I was almost a guitar player in a touring band. Um, Again, because it, it had two main songwriters, and um, you know they they wrote all this music and it can't be played live. So mm -hmm. yeah, we just hire you just hire all your friends, and then you go on tour. <laughs> and it's yeah, no, but it's I mean, like I think it would be cool just to have like the the whole band, you know, hired. I mean, not that I you know would absolutely never tour again, but like. Man, I'd like to not do it in a van, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, what you could yeah. do is, like, you know, potentially, you know, it could just be, like, a vacation. You could, like, figure out a way to make it into, like, you know, roll it into something like that. Yeah. I mean, well, I think part of it, too, is, like, I'm just, I'm not, like, a stage guy. I like, like, being in front of people. Like, it's weird. Like, when I was younger, it was like, well, whatever. Like, I, I think I, I thought that you had to be in a band to, like, make music and like get it in front of people like you just you just have to be in a band and then now it's like 
don't know if it's like because of technology or just you know times are changing but it's like now you can like just write the music and put it out yourself and make your own music videos and so that's I'm actually like, really cool. interesting yeah, yeah no you're so absolutely like, that's right kind of where i'm at yeah because i know and, and i, mean, I work with a lot of people where yeah they're they write everything and they're the band like they don't you know they don't necessarily say that you know they they mm-hmm. hide under the disguise of like a band name and they don't make mm-hmm. it clear that you know they're the only band member but um yeah, that, that was absolutely. that was me that was me originally like in the myspace yeah. <laughs> days i i think i had fake names and like i know that i had a photo that was like i photoshopped me but i made it look like a band photo so there was like multiple people but it was all me and i had long <laughs> hair so like you know one one of me would have like my hair out you know or whatever and you know like i mean if you really looked at it, it was i was wearing so sunglasses cool. on one yeah <laughs> but it's it kind of like a joke like i had a uh, mullet wig and another yeah but i thought that you had to have a band or like you know nobody's gonna listen to that because it's just one guy i and mean that's got like you know bulb and or you know misha Mansour yeah or whatever but uh when he was doing the sound click thing that was like super cool like oh is this like a, a guy but i mean then he went and you know formed a band so yeah <laughs> <laughs> Never pretty mind. big band too Let's just re- rewind that that doesn't work out but yeah peripheries know. yeah they're they're uh yeah, people have heard of them. Yeah. And they're and they're doing a lot there. of cool stuff. Like I didn't Yeah. Like just the fact that like you can literally buy and this is for all the people listening there in bands or your studio, this is something you should be thinking about. You record a band, like why don't you package up like drum samples and sell it with the album as like a special thing? Mm. You know, like that's what they're doing and they're they're able to generate way more revenue that way than just releasing music on Spotify and having people download links yeah. to the songs. You know, they're, you can get their amp tones, you can get their drum yeah. tones, and, and they all have their own companies and they do all this stuff. And that's the only way that they're able to keep doing what they're doing, right? I mean, they're yeah. all they're all yeah. our age? They're older? I don't know. They're probably younger. They're probably, <laughs> probably our age or younger. Yeah. But yeah, they're like, uh, I think that's probably why they're able to be as successful as they are is because they're not relying on you know the standard model you know like well you don't need to sell this many you know tickets or albums or whatever because we have these you know these trickles of income from all these right and then they can focus on the music right it's like you know things get more complicated and things get more expensive as we as you get older and like and you can't always tour because every situation is different and then trying to coordinate schedules when people are starting families and doing all this stuff gets really complicated. And so yeah. it's like the, just the fact that they designed the band and the business around all these revenue streams is brilliant. In my opinion, yeah. like I, I, I don't know. I think I could definitely see that everything's going in that direction. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, man, they're just super smart, super smart. Dudes. Yeah. Like yeah. They're not them. scared to try stuff for sure. Yeah. So, all right, dude. Uh, we've been chatting for 50 minutes. Um, I just want to thank all you guys for hanging out with us. Um, again, this is uh, Greg Fender. He is the Eons Collapse. And he's got like eight band members of himself in it. But like, uh, <laughs> but you should definitely check out his music. I am a huge fan. And whenever this album drops, I'm going to be buying it because... Uh, well, I mean, you're just gonna sick, have it, dude. I'm gonna have you master it. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm gonna steal it and then I'm gonna upload it <laughs> to uh, some torrent network, and you guys can all download it illegally. It'll be cool, and then we'll screw yeah. Greg out of a bunch of money, and it'll be awesome. <laughs> no, dude. I, I mean, I, yeah, I found some old stuff on a like a Russian torrent site of, of mine one time, and I was just like, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's when you know you've made it. Is when you're yeah, like, dude. Like, torrent, torrent. It's because it was a MySpace gig back then. Probably. Yeah. That's probably where it came from. <laughs> Tom sold it to the Russians so he could go and buy a bunch of blow and have a good old time. Buy. <laughs> All right. Well, um, yeah, definitely check out Greg's music, Dion's Collapse, Facebook, YouTube. Um, at some point, I'm assuming it's going on Spotify, but it ain't there yet because I looked. And, I mean, uh, the, the old album, <laughs> you can do the old one, but that's like from 2013, I think. I don't remember. Yeah, back in the day. Yeah. And... Um, yeah, if, if you guys like this, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm thinking about doing a lot more of these interviews and just kind of hanging out and taking questions from the audience. I think it's really awesome to show people like how I mix music and master stuff. But 
you know, there's only so many times, so many different ways I can tell you how to dial in a compressor. So I feel like this is like the logical next step. And it seems like you guys like it, but you make sure to let me know in the comments. Um, and I'll, I'll start booking out more guests and getting people on the show. Cause this is, it's kind of fun to showcase some music. Um, especially when it's this awesome and, uh, you know, show you guys some talent that's, that you might not have heard of before. So, um, yeah. And with that, do you have anything that you want to say, Greg? Uh, I just want to say thanks for having me. This has been really cool. I always like hanging out with you. I mean, yeah, it's cooler in person when we can. <laughs> drink person. Well, this is our this is the way life is right now, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah. you know, we're making it work. You know. Yeah, it's still cool. I mean, it's yeah. better than not hanging out. Definitely. So, so. I will say, uh, cheers, everybody. Thank you for kicking it. Let's see. Got to support that local brewery, DC Brow, that Arcade Series Level Two, that That's Voodoo funny. Ranger, whatever. American Hazy, right? American, yeah, American Haze. That's right. Oh, Haze. Oh, okay. It's pretty good. <laughs> All right. And with that, you guys have a wonderful night. I'll be back 8 o'clock Thursday next week, and we'll kick it with you guys then. See you later. See you.